All right. So the first thing you want to do to be able to build this full stack events, websites, registration application is to have your system turned on, of course. <laughs> and once your system is on, we are going to create a folder, right? So you, this is my system turned on as it is. This is my um, display screen. Just create a folder anywhere. So I'm going to pick a location and I'm going to create my folder and I'm going to call this folder events uh, websites or events registration websites, whatever you decide to call it, that's totally up to you. You could call it full stack application, whatever. So after creating this website, the next thing we are going to do is to open this website in VS Code. Now VS Code is where we'll be writing all our codes. It's typically called an IDE. If you don't have VS Code, all you can do is to come to Chrome here and just search for VS Code download. Now, if you're using Windows, search for Windows. If you're using Mac, search for Mac, whatever. Just search for VS Code download. And once you hit VS Code download, click on the link here from Visual Studio Code themselves, and you'll be able to download VS Code. So this is for Windows, this is for those using Linux, and this is for Mac. So Whatever the, the software you're using, just search for VS Code there and you should have it. Now, if you have VS Code already, what you can do is just right click. And if you're using Windows 11, click on Show More Options and Open with Code. Now, if you're using Windows 10, just right click and look for this Open with Code button. Now, for some people, because of the um, this their settings, they do not have an open with code option. So in that case, you want to open VS Code manually. Now, whatever method you decide to use, that's totally fine. So you can decide to open VS Code here manually and, and once VS Code is open manually, you can then have what we want. So VS Code here, open manually. We can then open a folder. All right, so I'm going to open a folder now and open this folder where I, I created my, my folder just now. So the event registration website, I'm going to select the folder and open it. So once we have the folder, you should see the name of the folder by your top left hand corner here your top left-hand corner, right, of the event registration website. Once you have this, it means that we're set to start walking through the code. So we need VS Code. Make sure you have VS Code installed, and we can go right, um, continue with the rest of the processes. The next thing we want to do is to go ahead and create the files and folders we will be needing for these projects. Remember, Remember, this is a full stack, stack application, so it means that we are going to be working with both front end and back end, and we have to integrate the two together. Now, to do that, there are several ways we can do this, but one way I really love is the method that Flux gives us. Right? So we are going to use Flux framework and the method that Flux allows us to integrate both front end and back end throughout this project. Now, now, to use, use the Flux framework, framework we, we are going to first of all make sure that we have Python installed on our system because Flux is a framework of Python. So this is going to be a project that uses Python, that uses Flux. So after making sure that Python is installed, go ahead to make sure that we also have Flux installed on our system. If you have these things not installed on your system currently, no worries at all because we would be installing these things together. All right, so the first thing we want to check out is if we have Python installed on our system. To do that, you can see my screen currently, and all you have to do is open your terminal, right? So open your terminal is very simple. You could open your terminal by just searching on your Windows search bar for terminal. So you can just come to your Windows search bar, search for terminal, and you would have your terminal opened. You could, you could also use VS Code to open your terminal. For example, to open your terminal VS Code, click on the, 
the, the view and then come down click on terminal so once you do this you see your terminal here opened up on VS code now once your terminal is opened up on VS code just search for Python right like this type Python on the screen and press enter now if you see this if you see something like this uh, it's going to show you a Python version so we have three points 11.6 installed if you see something like that it means that your python is installed just type exit next now if you do not have python installed once you type python you should be taken to a download page where you have to download and install python so once you hit python and you don't have python installed the process is automatic it will take you to a download page that download page is microsoft store so let me walk you through the microsoft store installation of python in case you don't have python already now if you have python you could just skip this part for about like three four minutes forward and you would be not missing anything all right so to get to microsoft store you can once you hit python it would automatically open microsoft store for you so that you can install python if you don't have python ready and here it would open up python you could also search come to microsoft store like i've just done and search for python so once you do that you are going to see a lot of python 3.11 point ten point this so we're just going to click on three points python version 3.11 at this time and allow it to load and you should see a, a button that says get here so um let's see if you do not have python already you should see gets here now i have python and you can see that i don't see it here but let's look for a version that i do not have so for example 3.9 and we should have the get button here because I do not have Python version 3.9. All right, so you see the get button, right? So you look for 3.11, don't look for 3.9. 3.9 is average in the ratings. Look for 3.11, or if you're watching this video at the time there's a newer version, you may want to try the newer version, but I prefer the 3.11. And click on get. So once you click on get, it will automatically start downloading, and then you can easily, um, download it so here it's saying get ready to download and all of that and basically that's how you get python and once you have python installed you can you're now set to follow the rest of the video because we have our tools next so we'll be using python to get flat and from flat we'll be building our full stack application